All right, hey, what's up, Agile Loungers and Scrummies all around the world? Welcome back to Agile Lounge channel and AgileLounge.com. So today, after all of those gathering at Scrum Alliance in Austin, Texas Business Agility Summit in Vienna, and including the XP conference for the first time out of Europe and North America and Montreal, my hometown, guys. So I had a question came in up in mind with discussion with all of the people lately is agility and business agility is actually justifying adaptation to VUCA instead of truly facing new ideas. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about it in this video of Agile Lounge. <music> I was really wondering, talking with great minds, great people that are actually being agile and being in Scrum for more than decades. And I was really questioning myself, like, we always talk and training and workshop and between us at the gathering is like agility is there to justify the VUCA. And for those who don't know VUCA, let me explain really quickly. It's, it's something that came from... Uh, the military just after the Cold War, for those who are old enough to remember that uh, between 1989 and 1991, the Berlin Wall fall and a lot of things changed in the world with the Soviet Union, Soviet Union collapsing. So the military in the United States says like, oh my God. So now it's not clear, it's not bipolar like it used to be, capitalist against communism. It was a multipolar world uh, in the 90s and the 2000s. And the military called it VUCA for vulnerability, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity so VUCA and uh, so it became something even in business uh, it's been used in business and marketing to face uh, these art of customer and client uh, with uh, changing all their minds every time about any product and so on and especially with the complexity of software engineering uh, from computer uh, programming to software engineering and e-commerce so the last two decades up to right now uh, the VUCA is there to kind of motivate uh, not just the competition but how do, could we improve so okay so that being said fair enough is it, it was it for that reason that the consortium um, back in 2001 the agile consortium of those 17 great mine came up uh, with a gathering and snowboard in utah to uh, decide okay so let's be more agile meaning like change agile by flexible again so flexible about the customer needs that are changing faster about also the business and the way the competition is 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 on in with the digitalization of all of our uh, services provider and the way also we could program the way we could design the way we could sell and so on so so they said like lean management from the 60s up to now and the it environment it's not kind of enough. So lean plus customer collaboration to understand better the behavior and being smarter at, at creating customer, at, create, at satisfying their needs. So lean plus that equal agile. So that was the mindset of the 17 guys uh, that met together at Snowbird and they came up with those four values and 12 principles. But now 18 years old later and all this blah, blah, all is this, uh, kind of thinking, all of this kind of adaptation of the manifesto uh, software, agile software manifesto that now it's modern agile manifesto, it's HR and even HR is not even in a mindset of agility. It should be PNC, people and culture. So all of those things like all, uh, and especially me right now in the last two weeks, I was at the uh, Scrum Gathering in Austin. I was also uh, briefly at the XP conference in Montreal, uh, I did my scrum beer with about almost 50 people talking about agility. Yesterday night, for the first time in Montreal, the Business Agility Institute has its first gathering with about 15 people and one presentation so, so conventional about business agility because I think the Institute, uh, uh, we could do a better explanation of what is business agility, but the, the same kind of thing is, okay, uh, VUCA is there, um, this uh, vulnerability is there, this complexity of technology is there, this moving fast 21st centuries is there, 
everything is changing fast, we want it now, I want it now, and I want it all, you know, kind of things. Okay, fair enough, so, but is by converting and transforming more and more people and thus organization into agility is the right answer to that vulnerability, uncertainty, complexity, and bigwitty problem. So I was questioning myself, gathering in my mind a kind of uh, how could I uh, debrief, what is my takeaways of all those conferences, all of those workshops, and everything that I do since 2002 as a Scrum Master and now as an enterprise agile coach, I was truly questioning myself, is, is this justifying actually that, okay, we cannot do anything because VUCA will accelerate itself, this kind of VUCA stuff will just be there and be there and pump up and pump up and use it as a scary tool for any startup that could prevent them to become unicorns. So I'm just scared a little bit. I'm not afraid of anything. You know me for those who know me, but I'm scared. And the, and the idea that because that concept of VUCA and fast moving market are there, the Uberization is there, the whatever that a lot of our colleagues and especially the industrial agile complex will kind of use it and twist it for the new fear monger of if you don't change or if you don't start up your enterprise with that in mind you're doomed to failure and i'm not sure it's the case because we have to look about the conversation we should have between our mind and our art to create the real consciousness huh? Uh, like uh, Gene uh, Richardson, if the name is right, at the Scrum Gathering, about from mindset to consciousness and Scrum. And uh, with my participation, I'd like to do with Stéphane Leblanc and Richard Barrett from the Value Center and the International Center for Conscious Leadership. I think we have to move a step forward than just saying like, okay, agility should help you solve your problem according to complexity. No, agility should, should be a mindset that help you navigate in that complexity and ambiguity. But at, at the end of the day, as a human being, as, as intelligent people, shall we not be smarter than just being agile into that VUCA and maybe try to transform the VUCA to change the complexity into something more simple instead of having SME and specialist people taking care and becoming God. Uh, too often in the last two decades in my work as a CX designer, I face a lot of those programmer gurus. So this is why I went to, to not school, but I went to, to some kind of uh, programming and coding school to understand that it's not that complicated. I think a lot of people are foolishly uh, being trapped in the technological and engineering complicated thing because of bad decision in the 80s and 90s about the infrastructure and the legacy systems. So I think if we attack the core of this, technologically speaking, the complexity should be lower. So all those technical depth huh, that make it complex, all this interdependency. And isn't it like something that we at Enterprise Scrum, and when I say we, it's everyone that uh, helped Mike Beadle and all the other, and now we try to put it forward. So Enterprise Scrum for Business Agility was not just to adapt to the VUCA stuff. It was to have a healthy organization that is agilized at every level for, for any size, at every department, just to have new value and not to just adapt to the VUCA, but actually racing against and being more uh, smarter than any complexity, technologically speaking, and also behaviorally, behaviorally, correct me if I'm wrong, it's behavioral type of this VUCA, because also the complexity is in human being and the people, uh, the client changing his mind and so on, and the ambiguity and so on. So I think all of this is kind of a smoke screen. So I'm just asking you guys, what do you think about this? Is agility is a remedy or agility is only an adaptation or the flexibility of agility should bring us for the next three, five, 10 years of agility and business agility because now it's not just software programming and e-commerce and so on. So should it be something that we as agilists, as people, as agent of transformation, servicing the world more than just the organization and our client, think about it and try to actually transform the VUCA itself, huh? have uh, maybe less vulnerability into people uh, with providing them tools and tips to be more self-esteem and more engaged. 
So vulnerability, I see it like this. Uncertainty, so having better analysis and better study uh, to face this uncertainty, uh, not to create uh, a lot of things that is not like uh, in too much gray zone. So I'm not saying to go into extreme black and white, but you know, having something like to uh, be more predictable. Uh, a lot of people in Kanban and Lean try to be predictable. So why don't we, with the agile uh, community and the business agility, try to change this uncertainty? And for the complexity, I talked about it earlier, technologically speaking, let's be frank, let's be really transparent and not just have the user and access to user for the programmer and so on, but also uh, stop creating um, false value or false creation of job or consulting. Just let's be straight and be really lean, actually lean in terms of also like give the answer straight. And if they if they do too much politic, it's going to be toxic. And I think this is why the VUCA exists. It's because of the politics of any size of organization, by the way, it's not just the 30 plus K, a lot of even small business could have politics for nothing. And this creates false complexity and false uncertainty and a toxic mindset environment. And all those incompetent people, excuse me, but we have to fire them at some point. Stop being Kalinors and stop having ambiguity about like, oh yeah, but if, 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 no. You have a job, you have a definition of done, this is agility. You have a definition of what I need and my team to be performant and to, and to smash the competition. So let's be it. Or at some point, let's ask those people to go somewhere else. They want to move like every two years, this new generation, but let's help them to move sometimes because uh, agility or lean or whatever, what have you, uh, even a Six Sigma won't come and save the day uh, <clears throat> by, uh, uh, by being incompetent. If technologically and technically they are incompetent, even on a behavioral type of way, uh, especially for a coach, incompetent people will just create incompetency and you won't achieve. So you need a winning team. So put in the comment below, what do you think about this? Am I completely fool? Am I completely on fire? Am I thinking uh, maybe I'm wrong? Maybe I'm right. I don't want to be right. I don't want to be wrong. But I would like to question more about this and I don't want to see the end this drill agility complex using that VUCA now as a new deblatterage of oh yes if you don't want to change the VUCA will gub you as actually we could face the VUCA we should be the lion of agility and actually stop this uh, dragon of VUCA smashing his fire everywhere with false complexity maybe and even false ambiguity that is actually a sign of toxicity politic and your workforce. So tell me in the comment below, let's engage in a virtual conversation till the next uh, scrum beer that it might be happening July 25th. It's a placeholder right now, but I would like to see you maybe this summer and between our vacation for those who follow the shipping uh, so for and for those who the time is like me, Carpe Diem. So let's meet maybe across the water, near the water, having a beer and discuss of those topics and more. So Alexandre, Frédéric Joly and Agilant is signing off. Thank you very much. So don't forget to like this video, to share it with your friend, to um, to spark a new conversation in an exchange and see you soon on agilelaunch.com. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Yeah.